Jed Fish mm. leads Arizona for Washington. Now, I want to dive into this a little deeper than most media streams or uh, platforms will do. Um, it threw me for a loop. Weddle reminded me. Uh, I was like, not feeling the lateral move here, right? It would have been a lateral move, but it's no longer a lateral move because we're so used to Matt and I like, this is a Pac-10, Pac-12 team. What are we doing? It's not. One is a Big Ten team now. One is a Big 12 team now. And that is clearly the decision of the move because arguably the Washington is in the Big Ten, a much better league. Um, so... I, I'm torn on this, Matt, but I want to dive into a few things. DeBoer leaves for Alabama, and I want to dive into this live video uh, from their players that went instantly live as the players found out. Really ain't say nothing to nobody, fool. Like, yeah, bro. Like, Cut just up and left, bro. No, yeah, the locker room look crazy, fool. It, it's like 30 missing. University of Washington name plays fool. Like, no, like, it's janky, bro. Like, it's when you come back, bro, and you. <laughs> bro ain't put in two weeks. Bro didn't put in his 24 hours, man. Bro, I hate the bro, way bro didn't put it, bro. He, he just left, fool. Like, it, it was, it was like, yeah. And the, the craziest thing about it all is, bro, never said he was going to come before even the team meeting, <laughs> fool. All right. This generation is so ass backwards. First of all, does everybody just talk like they're a fucking leaned out rapper? Uh -huh. Every single conversation is fool, bro. Duh, duh. Like, speak. So let, let's have a conversation, number one. Number two. The play, the players are jumping in the transfer portal at a monumental rate. The coaches are leaving at a monumental rate. This is the business of college football. The, the head coach doesn't owe you shit, just like you don't owe him nothing if you want to go to the transfer portal and maximize your money. Like it, It's amazing to me how emotional everybody is about college football these days. Both players right, and coaches. Well, I'm going I'm to dive. I know Smitty has a take. I, I have a take that's going to probably cra be crazy. So – Jedfish says, all right, the board leaves, no team meeting held, nothing, no message to the players, apparently, all that. Um, <laughs> Jedfish decides to do the same thing and has a three minute. My, I'm just telling you right now, I know for a fact because a buddy of mine just left there and, and went with Sark to Texas. He was the DC there. Um, <laughs> well, we know we did. They had a three minute meeting. This is Arizona players leaving after the fact. Uh, apparently, you know, whether you want to call it dejected, don't give a fuck. I, I don't really know. Don't really care. But this is the, the nature of the beast that we've created. The NCAA non-caring assholes of America has created this. So, yep. uh, you know, a three minute meeting to me, I've left places and had a meeting with my players and it was an hour. Uh, it was an hour because, <laughs> I like it wasn't easy if I did do it. And I and if I promised the kids I was gonna stay somewhere, uh my word is more to me than uh money. It is just, just me, right? Um so where are you at with this whole thing? Um Jedfish left, Washington's at Alabama. We we clearly know that was a, a a step up. The Arizona to Washington in today's climate is a step up. Um where are you at with a, who takes Arizona job now? And then B, uh, your take on both teams here as they left their respective programs and how many enter the portal today is probably going to be the bigger question. Well, God knows how many kids enter the portal. I mean, Washington moving into the Big Ten, it, this I guess Jed Fish is a good hire. We'll see how he does uh, in, in, the, in the new conference. You know, I, I think Washington will do fine in that conference. Um, look, the the – Arizona thing, the Washington thing, coaches leaving, like getting paid. That's what this business is. And this is not the first time it's happened. And it's just, I find it amazing that like players and their parents, like I love it when they're like, the parents are dejected. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what the parents think. What are we talking about? This isn't a babysitting class. 
The parents are dejected. They lied to my son. You didn't know that was going to happen when you signed the paperwork, Demi? You're not paying attention to what's actually happening in college football? Like, this is the way this works. It, it, there, there's This is mercenary town from coaching to players. If you're if you can play, you can be a mercenary. You can go and commit to 15 different places and you can go transfer 10 times and you can hit double handshake people until you don't have a hand anymore. Just constantly go, oh, yeah, I'll play for you and I'll play for you and I'll play for you. And the coaches can do the same thing. The coaches can walk in and say, I'm going to stay here forever. And we've got 20. I saw an interview with this fish guy from Arizona where he said, we got 18 to 22 starters coming back and there's no place I'd rather be than Arizona. And it's my favorite place. And they've given me an opportunity and my family's moved a ton in the last five years. And I might, I don't want to do it to my family anymore. And we built a home here at Arizona, moving into the big 12. And two days later, he was the coach of Washington. So <laughs> that's crazy. Hold on, man. That's crazy though. Right. To like is, to bro. go okay. that deep and to say all that. Yeah. In two days. Like, I, 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 this I remember, has been happening for 20 yeah, years. This happens constantly. Three, four years ago, I remember being at an event in Denver where midnight Mel Tucker was up there talking about how excited he was about the recruiting class and everything in Boulder was going to be awesome. And how like the, the world was spinning around Boulder and he was ex- so excited and blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, bullshit. Five, you blah. <laughs> five fucking minutes later, homeboy was on a fucking jet going to East Lansing, getting paid 80 million. So deuces. So my, like my point is, don't believe anything anybody tells you in college football, players or coaches. It's the wild fucking West. Anybody can do whatever they want, whenever they want. Stop getting all emotional about it. It's what it is. Like, if you if you think that people are going to tell you the truth and not fuck you over in this business, you're crazy. This is the this is the epitome. This is the this is the echelon. This is the top notch where like the most liars and the most full of shit people in the world are in this business because they can be. There's no rules, regulations. There's no agents. There's no nothing. There's no contracts that you can enforce. It's all handshake deals and shit. What do you expect to happen? I mean, this is what the NCAA wants. And in my opinion, I don't think it could get any worse than it already is. So this is just one shit sandwich after the other. You can't be surprised about any of this stuff ever. Like, if if a coach wants to leave and go somewhere else, I'm not surprised anymore. He'll just get up and fucking leave. Like, the day before, he could be bringing in recruits and, you know, selling fucking snow to Eskimos and, you know, and, and out here trying to fucking, you know, build a foundation and, I love that. Like, we're going to build here, and it's going to be awesome, and everything's going to be hunky. And then the minute you make – you get a contract offer for $1 more, you're out. Hey, so it reminds me of – next. if you guys seen next Friday when Uncle Airboy yeah, said yeah, – he said, yeah. he said, I know I, I said, I, I never leave the hood. I never I leave the ghetto. I got my check, and I'm I was gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> 